It's an early Saturday morning and a very particular sound is spreading over Angola's capital city. It's the sound of Kabanga Dikulo's radio show. Live on air. Good morning, Angola. This is the most listened to radio show in Luanda. Welcome. For radio fans, Kabanga Dikulo's show is not to be missed. Two and a half hours of biting commentary on all sorts of topics close to the hearts of Luanda's six million inhabitants. Luanda is a city full of contrasts. While the country's many natural resources have made some people rich, that's not the case for the vast majority of the population. Kabanga Dikulo is our guide for the day. The next moment to store localizado. I'm on the so-called Yellow Bridge in the Vienna area. This is where I normally catch a shared taxi, the ones that poor people take to get to work or to go to the beach with friends at the weekend. We call these mid buses the blue and whites. The taxi fare costs 150 kwanzas, around 50 cents euros. But Luandan taxi drivers are flexible. People who are strapped for cash can ride for 100 kwanzas. During the ride, Kabanga Dikulo comes up with new ideas for his radio reports and critical commentaries. We are heading to the Independence Square. Angola is the city of heroes. Officially, the most important is our mate here, our first president, Agostinho Neto. You see, he's turning his back on us. It seems he only has eyes for his hometown, Katete. The next stop on Kabanga's city tour is a colonial fortress. Reminders of Portuguese rule are everywhere, but their heroes no longer play the starring roles in an independent Angola. Still, this is the Luanda the tourists get to see. We are heading off the beaten track. Next up, Viana, an outlying suburb of Luanda. We are in my area, Kaupi. This is my ghetto. It is where I grew up. Come and take a look at my area. Kaop Bay is a typical mosaic. That's what Luanda's slums are called. They house around 80% of Luanda's population. They all love me here. Children and grown-ups, they all love Kabanga. That's my style. This is also where Kabanga Dikulo and his buddies make music. Several popular songs have been produced right here. Perhaps the most successful was Angola Esta Male. It's about everything that is going wrong in the country. Problems in the education and health systems, the rise in crime and the lack of police action. With this song, I want to make people aware of injustices in Angola. Not everyone is doing so well. There are tons of people who are in a really bad way. Anyone taking a stroll along the Marginal, Luanda's Grand Promenade, is probably not doing too badly for themselves, right? We're not doing nearly as well as the images suggest. All you ever see of Angola in Europe or America are these picture postcard images of the Marginal. Everywhere there are new buildings, powerful companies. Above all, the oil company Sonangol towers above the coastal promenade. It's an Angolan Dubai fantasy. Here on my left is one of the many bankrupt construction projects that you can visit in Luanda. And why? Because the clients went bust. How can that happen in the land of oil, the land of diamonds, the land of gold and copper and all sorts of other riches? In the land of fine wood, coffee and so much more. The country's wealth is enormous, but very few people see any of that. A hotel room in Luanda can easily set you back $1,000 a night. And in the fancy beach bars, where the well-paid experts congregate, lunch can cost $100. What people pay for lunch here is insane. Families in the slums have to survive for a whole week on the same amount. Luanda is the most expensive city in the world. That's a dubious honor. 
Kabanga Dikolo's city tour ends in the so-called Ilia de Luanda, Luanda's island, which is actually a peninsula. Nevertheless, it has a beautiful beach where young people meet in the evening to enjoy the sunset. If you've not been here, you've not seen the real Luanda. This is Luanda. It's the Isle of Luanda. Kabanga Dikulo loves his city, with all its contrasts and romantic moments. Quite the source of inspiration for a passionate radio DJ.